Well, the interesting th thing is that this was um, written, Marguerite Duras wrote this as a novella first. And so in the novella, there are three interviews, as well as the interview with Pierre and Claire. There's an interview with Robert, Robert. <laughs> I was going to say Roberto, but that's Italian. Oh, with, Ro with Robert, who owns the Café Balco. And uh, so that's helpful because you get a, a whole other perspective on those two characters. But essentially, you know, it's really just the text of the play itself that we're working from. But yeah, that was helpful. Well, it actually is still a work of, of fiction. It was based on a true story, but that's the starting point. And it is an interview format, so that's slightly different from what we would expect with a normal narrative-driven piece. And I think that's one of the fascinating and intriguing things about the piece, is what is revealed as the interview progresses. <laughs> you go, go, and then I'll go, if I have anything uh, to say. <laughs> well, it's kind of um, what Gillian just said, that because it's uh, uh, their interviews, that it doesn't follow, it can't follow the, the, the sort of normal structure of a play that proceeds in kind of chronological order and has a particular kind of, you know, moment where it peaks, etc. Because questions can send the interviewer anywhere, you know, so they, uh, so to that extent, um, that in itself becomes a challenge because it's very much, it really, I suppose, brings home the thing of having to be present in every moment because, in a sense, I don't know what's going to happen next as Pierre because I don't know what question you're going to ask me. Now, of course I do because I'm the actor, but you see what I mean? So that, that's kind of exciting about it, isn't it? And it was described um, by one of our reviewers as pure theatre. And I think that's a very good description. There's really mm, no sets, right. no costumes. You get two performances, two, um, oh, two stunning performances. <laughs> two, <about> two. <laughs> uh, but it is about the craft of acting. Uh, it's certainly not about sets, about costumes, about music. It's about being present and responsive to what's happening moment by moment on stage. Well, this will be the fifth time we've um, performed it, and that's a, I mean, it's, it's a totally rare situation that as an actor you get to do the same piece five times. A lot of actors would say, thank God. Um, but it, because it's such a, a beautiful piece, and because we have such rapport with each other and love working with each other, don't we? Um, that, <laughs> that it just means that, that you're constant with each, each emanation, each time we did it, that you're finding more and more subtlety and nuance. I mean, it's quite extraordinary. It's a translation, it's a brilliant translation, but it's quite unusual to find a play where within one sentence, it's about finding what is the exact place of stress for a word, because it could be here, it could be here, but the more you start to understand, of course it has to be there. And they're things we're still uncovering as we do it. You could think, you know, that we're just incompetent actors that it's taken us that long, but <laughs> I don't think so. <laughs> it's a rich and complex text. Mm. Uh, it, it is an emotionally demanding piece, but that, and, and also a piece that requires a great deal of focus. Because of what we've spoken about before, there's, it's quite a still piece, so it really has to be um, very responsive to each particular moment, and you have to be on your metal on every moment by moment. Um, but that is our craft as, as actors, to go to places where perhaps we've never been before, but it's our job to recreate it and to do it nightly. I think it's the hardest thing that young actors um, have to deal with, particularly as so many of them are going straight into film and television, is that, you know, for film, you can have a, a really, a scene you have to do where you have to go to some extreme place. You only have to do it once. I mean, you might have to do it a couple of takes, but, but, but you can do it once you can go to an absolute um, you know, full stops out and you never have to do it again. We have to repeat it every night. So of course it's part of our craft. I think it's like when, when you're asked, you know, how do you, remember, how do you memorise all those lines? My answer is, well, that's, that's our craft, you know, that's what we do. 
And that's the easy bit, memorising the lines. Mm. The hard bit is, what do well, you actually always. do with them? <laughs> <laughs>
Thank you, Robin Gillian. We'll see you soon in Hobart. See you in Hobart. See you there. Bye.